Hello you lovely bunch, it's me Mikey Oldfield, welcome to the weekly news. Now you've probably heard on our sister show BBC News that we are now in another national lockdown. So for now I'm stepping this side of the camera to let you know all that's going on at New Community. Because lockdown 3 doesn't mean everything has stopped, goodness no. For example, if you're a woman in leadership or an aspiring leader, the Pioneer Network, which we're part of, a new community, is putting on a women's leadership conference on Saturday the 16th of January, which is next week. It will be taking place online between 9.30 and 2.30 and it should be an exciting and inspiring time. As a church, we are passionate about having women and men in leadership, so do get along if you're able. Tickets cost just £10 for the day and are free if you're under 18. Head to the Pioneer website to find out more and book in. Before then, we also have our monthly prayer and worship evening, Deeper. That's this Wednesday. It's going to be on Zoom, accessed via the usual link. This should already be in your email inboxes, or you can also find it in the events page on our website. A big thank you to all of you who gave to our Christmas relief activities. A total of just over £1,200 was received, which meant we were able to offer a hot takeaway meal through Community Cafe for three days over Christmas. Many thanks to the Community Cafe team and volunteers and to the Ward and Sheen families who cooked and served on Christmas Day. I hope you had fun. On top of that, we were also able to prepare a fresh nutritious meal for 65 isolated asylum seekers and partnered with Portswood and Above Bar Church giving out goodie bags. Big thanks to Rachel Comer, Laura Waterton and people from the St Mary's Bake Club for giving their time. But it didn't stop there. We were also able to give out food vouchers for vulnerable families through Hope Community School and Bob Light's Flowers of Justice. It is so exciting to give, so thanks everyone for your generosity and partnership in bringing relief and hope to so many this Christmas. Just lovely. As we continue to explore our areas of learning from the monastic, the Task and Finish group have been working through all the feedback they received during the Zoom consultation evenings at the end of last year. So they're going to be feeding back on how we're responding to what we've heard in those meetings and what the next steps are in a series of midweek Zoom calls. The first of these will be in the week commencing 18th of January, so keep your eyes peeled for more details. Now, as the situation continues to evolve, there will no doubt be more to tell you, so do keep updated on our social media channels and our website. Thanks once again for listening and watching so nicely. From all of us here at The Weekly News, goodbye. <laughs>